What is being blurred from existence is just as important as what is being created. What are we willing to lose on behalf of those who would benefit from the displacement of the community and our forgotten history? As people who vote, as people who are governed by our city government, like we need to know how complicated it really is and who benefits from the decisions that the city government makes. Uh, they're not always looking out for the general public. They're not always looking out for the poor neighborhoods. They're rarely looking out for the poor neighborhoods. So I think just as people who live here, we need to know really what's happening. Prominent activist group, Paso del Sur, strive for the preservation of Duranguito. They battle to defend its residents and their history from being displaced and their memory from being demolished. A citizen's initiative that gathers signatures where El Pasoans, over 2,000 El Pasoans said they don't want the arena to be placed here. They want this area to be designated historic. It's asking not that there shouldn't be an arena, but that this area be declared historic. Over about 2,000 people signed and the city refused to take any action on the petition, so right now it's the second round of the petition, um, and once those signatures are collected and turned in, that's another, like another avenue to try to protect Duranguito. The court hearing that is pending in Austin, which will be heard the 17th and 18th of this month, and that was requested um, like an expedient court hearing by the city, and they moved the venue to Austin. The Austin hearing will determine the fate of El Paso's very first barrio and the residents who have made it what it is today.